Hi everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, your man from Movie Picks and the author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements version 2025, looking at one or two of the new features in the program. Now, a feature that's gone through as major an overhaul as titles here in Premiere Elements deserves two tutorials, and that's what we're going to do. This is part one of a two-part series. And we're dividing it in half because there are actually two ways to customize and modify a title template in Premiere Elements. Here in part one, I'm gonna show you one way to populate or to customize your title. And then in part two, we'll show you a different title template that populates or customizes uh, the text and the graphics in another way. But let's go over to the Titles and Shapes menu. And we can do that by going over to the toolbar on the left and clicking on the little T. There we go. Now under My Templates, you may not have the same titles as I do. Uh, that's because these titles appear here as you download them from Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock is a large library of over 100 title templates. And once you download one, once you use it in a project, it becomes part of your My Templates library. Let's select a template and modify it. I'm going to select the modern title with border, drag it down here to my timeline. And now we'll play it so you can see what it looks like. And it goes by pretty quickly, but it's animated and has some pretty cool graphics. Let's take a look at it. There we go. We'll, we'll scrub through that kind of slowly so you can see it. You see that the border lines are drawn at the same time as the main title swoops in from the distance. Then another subtitle appears above it. Then the frame is finished drawing and yet another subtitle appears there at the bottom. Now this animation is done using graphics, using masks, using text, and using keyframed motion. We don't have to worry about any of that. All we're going to do is customize the title itself. Now this is one version of a title and in this version you actually make the changes on the title itself here in the program monitor. So in other words, once I've added the title to my timeline, I can select the text, for instance, main title here, and just drag across it and customize it. Likewise, I can select the top text here. You notice that there's a box behind this top text or this top subhead, and that box grew as we added text to it. The reason why is because the graphic, the white box behind it, is actually pinned to the text so it will grow with a text box. That's something that's a higher level animation device. Uh, it's a feature of After Effects. It's not a feature of Premiere Elements, but because it's, this title has been designed and imported into Premiere Elements, the feature still works. We can also do the lower text here. And that's all there is to it. Now we've modified our text. We can also modify the graphics themselves. For instance, this video frame, if we go over here to the Titles and Shapes panel, we can select the border. And if we toggle open appearance, we can change the color of the stroke from white. If we double click on it, opens up the color picker and we can change that to say, for instance, green. And now we have a green border. It's very nice these elements of the graphics themselves uh, can be modified without having to get into the deep programming of the title template itself. Likewise, of course, any of the text we could have selected. And if we open up appearance, we can change the color of that also to whatever color we'd like. It's pretty cool, we've modified our title and now we can take a look at it with this animation. Very nice. Now that is one form of populating or customizing the title template. There's a different style of title template which we're going to look at in part two and we'll show you how to modify it, which is a little bit different, uh, but even still the program and the titles and shapes panel makes it very easy to customize for our particular needs. Come back for part two, we'll show you how to modify and customize those templates.